So, Jill went to work today and left me unsupervised. Might have been a mistake. Let's see what kind of shit we can get into. Okay, three objects. Make something real quick. Kind of like a garage art. So, scrap piece of wood, I gotta cut down a leftover metal rod and a timing chain, gear, timing chain, all together. So I have an idea. Let's see if I can make it work. Okay, so first I cut this down a little bit so it's more of a manageable piece. We don't need a giant piece for that one little, uh, one little gear. I uh, don't know which one I'll actually use. I have a couple ideas of how to actually cut the wood or how I want to cut the wood. Uh, we'll take a look. Tape measure. With the wood cut, I have two different stands I can use for this. So I like this one a little bit better than this one. Uh, it looks a little more complete. This one, I don't know, I just don't really like the fact that it doesn't continue around the front. Uh, this one I like because it goes all the way around the front and the sides uh, with the same 22 and a half degrees. So we'll use this one for now. We may use that one later for backup if this one doesn't look correct. So the next step, to bend this rod. So I'll get back with you on that. So the rod is bent at a 90 degree angle or 90 degree curve I guess 90 degree curve on one end uh, I don't have a vise so I had to come up with a different way of bending it now the only thing I could think of that had a nice curve like this was our countertops sorry Jill um, as you can tell it works out perfectly so if you do this, remember, if your wife finds out or your husband finds out, blame it on the kid with the least potential. You know which one I'm talking about. You know. If you're one of the kids watching with them and you don't know which kid that is, it's probably you. Sorry. But anyways. I'm Jill and I did not approve this message what she said so anyways on with the project totally we're gonna get in some trouble me home alone power tools a new garage a video camera could have been worse we'll see you next time so I did some test drilling to see how far forward I could put it without it tipping over. So I came up with a good kind of reference point. Uh, three inches back in the center, it won't tip over forward. Now I'm not worried about tipping over backwards because everything's gonna be forward of the hole, uh, the gear and everything. So all the weight's gonna be forward. Plus it's gonna be pushed back towards the back of the cabinet, which is over there. Uh, so it chances it falling backwards is Slim to almost none. I wouldn't say none. Shit happens. <clears throat> so, marking out the, the get a pair of glasses. Really should be wearing glasses. I really have a bad habit of that. Uh, so, with safety equipment involved, 
uh, we want to drill a hole, I wouldn't say straight down, put it more a little bit of an angle, uh, this is exaggerated, but more of an angle this way, because if you put it this way and it leans forward, more weight is going to be towards the front of it and it'll tip over. So we'll see, we'll see if I, I can do this. Uh, straight down. Now the other drill I have has a level in the back, which works out perfectly. I wish this one did too. I just don't want to go get the other one right now. Next one I will look for, we'll have that. We'll see. Oh, look at that. So, give me an idea what it's gonna look like. Mm. I like this side better. Plus it sits back a little bit more. Like that. Quick, simple, easy. You get to use a couple pieces that uh, would normally be used. Now this is something that isn't gonna be used on this engine. It was another engine that we had that we no longer use. It was like, it was like 30 bucks and it was just laying around collecting dust. Uh, figured I would uh, make a little garage art, see how it works. Seems to be working out fairly well. Looks cool, and all I'm gonna do is I'll trim the back of this so it's a little bit closer to the rod, and then we'll sand it down real quick, lightly scuff it up, uh, do some staining, and this should be pretty much it. Like I said, simple, not getting in too much trouble, except for the countertop. Again, sorry, Jill. Anyways, okay, let me cut this down and I'll be right back. On the board we're using, I trimmed off about, about an inch and a half on there, maybe inch and three quarters. It looks a little better in my opinion. It's not gonna be a lot of mass in the back since all the weight's gonna be forward. It actually works out very nicely. Uh, as you can tell, It really, before it tips forward, it'll tip backward, but again, it's gonna be against the corner of the uh, cabinet, or inside corner of the cabinet, so you're not really gonna, it's not gonna fall over or have the potential falling over. Um, I did sand down the edges, as you can tell, maybe not. So it wasn't like nice and crisp edges, uh, I didn't want it super sharp or anything like that. Considering I have a ret rod sitting in here, I don't like nice sharp edges on everything. I like the worn look, as you can tell for our countertops aren't nice, pristine, sharp, 90 degree perfect edges or anything like that. It makes it, makes it lived in. Now, it makes it like it's been around for a while. Uh, so, we'll sand this down. We will, uh, well, I already sanded it down, but we'll do a, a light sanding again, and then we will stain it and we'll throw it together. And I'll show what it looks like uh, over there. So, see you in a little bit. Okay. So, sanded it down. I also sanded this down so it's got like a nice shiny finish. Just because, anyways, because I like it. So, before I do that, let me get some gloves. God knows I don't want to get this crap all over my hands. It'll take forever to come off. Again, no evidence, leave no evidence. So 
So we'll stain this real quick, let it dry, and put everything together and see how it works. Wipe it all down. Let's get some of the stuff off of it. Let it dry and install it. Again, like I said in a previous video, you could buy a bag of rags for like, I don't know, 10 bucks or something like that. Good to have around the house. If nothing else, you can always use your significant other's good shirts, or if you have children you don't like, you know which one you are, uh, use their clothes and just blame it on them. That way you don't get in trouble. Okay. See you in a little bit, and we'll uh, put it all together. <clears throat> Working, okay, yep. Okay, so now assembly time. This is dry, sanded these down, found some feet for uh, the bottom so it doesn't scratch up the countertop, and uh, everything's here to assemble it. So, put the feet on first. Install the rod, put the rod into the stand, and voila. So, that's how we like it. Right there. So it's even in the front, push back. Not too bad. So I'll go put it on the stands, or I'll go put it on the countertop, and I'll show you some pictures. Okay, in the corner where the TV is, Got the bullets on that side, gear on that. Uh, quick, easy, bunch of scrap stuff I had sitting around. So this is basically just to find something to do with some items that usually are just laying around my house for me. A uh, ton of wood, bunch of car parts. As you can see, I still have more inside there. So. We will uh, see what we can do with some of that stuff. Um, again, I just wanted some kind of craft project, I guess, for the garage, something to fill a spot right here to make it kind of even. Um, again, a bunch of parts I didn't know what to do with. So figured we'd do something with it, make it useful and instead of letting it go to waste or throwing it away or filling up a landfill, something like that. It's amazing what you can come up with if you get a little bit of a time and a chance to do it. So again, hope you like it. Subscribe, like, share. So there'll be plenty more. Okay, thank you, bye. Coronavirus all over the table now. God damn it.